before entering into actual video let me just give you an introduction about us uh, we are endurance engineering academy we offer online video course for gate exam preparation okay and also we offer full video course for gate xc okay so if you are planning for writing xc you can visit our website for our full video course this is our website link and you can see this link in the description also and you can call us at this number or you can whatsapp us uh, we will be getting back to you uh, with the required if you have any queries or else you can message your queries to our uh, mail id support at uh, support at entrance engg academy dot in okay let us proceed for the video hello all um, so i hope that the preparation was going in a full swing right because uh, uh, we are just nearing to our exam so already the application process is also over so you would have decided what is the paper which you are going to write and uh, i hope that you are planning something ahead right so what i'm going to do in this video very simple i'm just going to give you one small suggestion okay only one small suggestion see as we are in the period of uh, this uh, corona the pandemic situation almost everyone was undergoing online classes almost almost everyone as i as of my knowledge there is no classroom coaching which was going on so almost everyone was going um, uh, learning or understanding the concepts attending uh, online classes see the one mistake which i am able to see in many students one mistake one common mistake and i just want you to correct that mistake that's why i am going to make this video okay and that's why i am making this video so what is that one particular mistake the mistake is very simple as you are entering into as you are joining any online classes for example any you take any online classes not only entrance engineering academy any online classes if you are joining let us consider that you are joining in uh, ea entrance engineering academy so after joining you will be having the access to all the videos at a stage for example you are registering for fluid mechanics course or you are registering for engineering mathematics course so when you are registering at the time itself you will be having all the videos so what the students are uh, supposed to do okay i have already made a video also how to utilize the online video course effectively i have already made a video which it is also available in the playlist gate state uh, gate strategy playlist but still i able to feel that there are few students who are doing this mistake the thing is all the videos will be available at the beginning itself so what they are doing they are starting to see all the videos at a stretch okay so from first video until the last video for example 200 videos are there in the sense all the 200 vid videos they are seeing they are seeing fully and uh, they are not practicing it parallelly so that is the mistake see if you are preparing for gate two things are must okay, if you are, like i am saying about preparation stage there are three stages okay three parts i can say that preparation revision test series and in the preparation state okay so two things are must one is attending the class learning the concept second one is practicing both should go hand in hand if you are doing one in this hand another should go another should be done in this hand that is both has to be happened simultaneously for example you are uh, you are uh, 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 seeing calculus lecture okay once after the lecture in the lecture itself you would have done a good number of questions okay once after the lecture do the questions which we solved in the lecture that is the first step and second start doing new questions start hunting for new questions maybe you will be getting new questions from uh, previous year paper or you can go for some test series or you can go for some uh, what is that uh, standard books but after completing a topic you need to do questions you need to practice questions you need to attack okay so this is something like uh, i can say something like uh, uh, the old example of uh, uh, arjuna and uh, dronacharya that is the uh, uh, mahabharata right so it's like arjuna is learning all the skills okay he is learning all the skills from dronacharya but he is not implementing it he is not implementing it maybe like he he is learning everything but he is not implementing if he is not impl implementing then whatever he is learning the skills which he is getting will be useless so the same thing here also 
if you are just watching the video if you are just watching the video and learning the concept it's not at all going to be useful for you okay so if you are learning something you try to apply in the problems then only you will start getting doubts okay then only you will start getting doubts then only you will start uh, observing that okay this is why this is happening this is why that is happening all those things you will start doing mistakes so mistakes are the first step okay obviously that is the first step uh, which is ultimately leading you to success if you are if you are only only learning the concept learning the concept and then you are thinking that i will do the problems at the end okay i will complete a subject fully i will complete all the subject i will do the problems at the end that's not going to work if you are doing like that you will be learning but you you won't be able to identify your mistake you won't be able to identify where you are lagging all that will be what i could say won't happen only you will be observing you will be learning okay but you won't able to implement it you won't able to find out where is the mistake you won't able to find out where you are lagging so so this is my uh, suggestion if you are attending a class online class or offline class if it is offline class mostly as you are as you are with uh, many students you will be able to you will get more exposure okay so the students used to discuss i'm doing this i'm doing that so you used to get more exposure you used to do that but as almost everyone was in their home and they are studying so it will be difficult for you uh, to plan it properly strategically st in a strategic manner so obviously if you go and check out all the toppers they would have done they would have made some strategies they would have done some something in a proper manner so they won't do it like what i could say randomly so if you are watching uh, a lecture okay so if you are seeing a video lecture calculus do the problems of calculus go for previous year question go for some test series register for some test series write that calculus test alone okay if calculus test alone is not there then fine you complete calculus do all the previous year questions of calculus then go for some other topics for example complex number or go for some other topic vector calculus or uh, what else probability and af after that combined test will be there for example calculus uh, probability and complex combinedly three three topics combinedly there will be some test okay so combined topic test will be surely there if you are registering for any test series combined test will be there or individual topic test will also be there depends on the different test series different institutes okay so this is my suggestion okay uh finish a topic do problems topic problems topic problem has to go don't wait for completing the subject don't complete all the topics later i will go and solve the problem don't do that previous year questions it is not sufficient i am saying it again it is not sufficient but previous year question is necessary step and that necessary step has to be taken immediately after studying a topic you are finishing linear algebra linear algebra's previous year question has to be done immediately after studying linear algebra it is not sufficient i'm saying it but it is necessary sufficient step you need to go for a test series a very good test series after completing max you will be having some good amount of test you have to write all the test and once after writing the test you will have more confidence in you okay so about the subject so i'm giving an example of max only but you have to follow this for all the subjects okay so overall five step even i this i explained this uh, in the previous videos also one is learning the concept through videos or you are you are studying it from a uh, book or whatever so again practice questions go for previous year questions go for standard book questions whatever you are uh, desired but i will suggest you only previous year questions okay now third prepare short notes okay so i already explained about short notes earlier okay fourth you need to go for test series okay so individual test calculus probability and complex combinedly one test will be there write that okay similarly you can write the individual subject wise test and topic wise test five updating your short notes once after writing test you will get to know that what are the mistakes you are doing that has to be updated again and sixth one also there i forgot to mention that is revising it periodically periodical revision there is a periodical there is one video regarding that i made it already so you have to do that okay this is a proper perfect strategy which you need to follow okay so overall this video is not about the total strategy i want to say i want to say only one thing so if you are completing one topic do previous year questions of that topic at that time itself don't hold it okay so if you are holding it then i can guarantee say you that you are going to worry in the future okay so please don't do that 
I'm seeing few students. That is why I personally said to them for few of them, but uh, I, I know that there will be many students who are doing this mistake. So I just want to make a video on it.